Hi guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm going to show you how you can extend your photo using the Content Aware tool. Now I'm going to show you on this picture here that I really like, but I don't really love the composition of this picture. She is right dead center, isn't really following the rule of thirds here, and I just want to make it a little more creative and I want to follow that rule of thirds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left hand side and the fifth button down is my crop tool. I'm going to select that and I'm going to make sure that up at the top original ratio is selected. From there, I'm going to draw a crop around my photo and by doing that, you can see these cross lines here are my thirds or where the photo, my subject in the photo would look best. So I'm just going to left click and I'm going to drag that over. And as I do that, you can see that these cross points now cover my subject right at about her eye there. So I want that to be the spot that fits that rule of thirds. Okay. From there, I'm going to left click and that's going to make that crop. But what's going to happen when I crop this way is that I've extended my photo a little bit and it's all white in this area and that doesn't look good. But there's a really easy fix, a really easy way to correct this. And that's by using content aware. So I'm going to go back over to my left hand toolbar. The second one down is the rectangular marked key tool. Click on that and you're going to get this little um, X that shows up and we're going to drag a rectangle around the area that is white. Okay, so I'm left clicking and I'm just going to draw a rectangle that covers that whole area and I'm going to make sure I even extend a little bit into the color. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and you're going to see a dotted line that appears where that rectangle is. I'm going to make sure my cursor is inside that dotted line. From here, I'm going to right click and a menu will pop up. I'm going to choose fill, which is down near the bottom. So I'm going to click on fill and I'm going to make sure content aware is selected. Now there's other choices here too. So it might be foreground color or background color that pops up on yours right now. You're going to make sure you go down and make sure it says content aware. Okay. Make sure the blending mode is normal and the opacity is at hundred percent and click OK. And then let's have it work its magic. Okay, you can see it's starting to um, fill in that area with the content that is near that spot. Sometimes this can take a little bit. And there you go. Filled it in using the area that was around it, the content aware. Now to get rid of that rectangle, you're just going to hit control D and that deselects it. And now my photo has her more using the rule of thirds. She's not directly in the center anymore. And that area is filled in nicely. Now, if there are, if it doesn't blend as neatly, um, you can always grab your clone tool uh, and clone in some of the areas. It looks like I might have to fix it up up there just a tad. Not too bad on this one though. So that's it. That's how you use the content aware tool to extend your photo. And you can do that on the top or on the bottom or at either side. So I hope you learned a little something. Please subscribe to the channel where I will be adding Photoshop tips, tutorials, and photography tips too all the time. Thanks for watching.